When you're when you're um, fighting loneliness, can you feel lonely in a crowd? Yeah. 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 A lot of people feel lonely, right? And they're in a huge crowd and they feel isolated, like nobody cares, nobody's, you know, and they and they don't understand something that the Bible teaches. This is one of the first, probably one of the first psalms I ever had to memorize. I grew up in a in a, going to Catholic to a Catholic school, to catechism, and I had to learn Psalm 23. And I never really realized how powerful it was to help me in life because it's this psalm that says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not what? Want. And then it goes on. There's only six verses, okay? But, but why don't you guys turn to Psalm 23 for me? And I, I want somebody to read this psalm out loud. And uh, we'll put it on the screen when we do the video and let the kids, let everybody who's watching see it. But this is one of the best psalms for helping our spirit when we're when we're feeling like we're alone and we're going through hard times this psalm says yea though I walk through the valley of the shadow of what? I shall fear no of death okay, I shall fear no evil now the answer is in the next line of this psalm but let's go back and start from verse 1 somebody read it for me the whole psalm <laughs> I'll, I'll read it to you just so that you can <laughs> without the giggles so it's pretty good with giggles but uh this is a great psalm. So the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay? In other words, he's the one, we're the, the Bible teaches, we're the sheep of his pasture. And he's our shepherd. And we don't have to worry about being in want for anything, because the good shepherd leads us, it says, to good pasture. You know, a shepherd's job is to lead sheep to where they can get they can eat where they can drink he, he leads them into the meadows where there's the grass growing and, and where there's the water that they can go and they can they can eat and drink and be safe because he's watching over so david by the way is the one who wrote this psalm david wrote the lord is my shepherd okay but he was a shepherd boy remember in the bible king david before he was ever king he was a shepherd of sheep and he says the lord was his shepherd the lord is the one who watched over him and the Lord is the one who took care of him and gave him everything he needed. He was, he said, I, I don't have to want because of my shepherd. Now the next part of this psalm, verse 2 says, and he restores my soul. And when your soul is feeling burnt out or bummed out, isn't it nice to know that the Lord restores your soul? He's the one that can just push the reset button and make you feel like you're coming back on an even keel. And everything's going to be all right. That's what David said the Lord did for him. The Lord restored his soul. And then what's the next line? Some, you guys got it by now, right? Psalms 23. Yeah, the next line says, He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He leads you in the right path. Man, what a great shepherd we have. He, he leads us in the right path in life, what we should do. And now we come to the part of the psalm that probably the one I've hung on to the longest as a Christian. And it's this one. In verse 3 it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Why? Because that, thou art with me, right? Yeah, thy rod and thy staff, it says they comfort me. But before the rod and the staff, he says, he's with us. And one of the things is no matter how scared we are or what we're what we're facing when we're feeling like oh man I just you know having a bad day I feel all alone this verse verse 3 of Psalm 23 just remember this Psalm 23 3 says the Lord is with you from the Caymans out to Honolulu the living